Hello, hello, it is UCLA Pack here. Wanted to talk about the event, um, Guardians of Teltalk. And I started off with Epic this time. I haven't done Rare or Legendary yet, but we will get to it. Um, just, I usually try to do one at a time. I don't like to, to mix and match because there's different strategies for each one. And I hadn't done an event video in a while, so... But why not now? So here we go. Um, these are my scores for Epic so far. What I'm what I'm really aiming for is top 500, which I believe this is perfectly fine. We'll uh, we'll easily get that scope, which is what I want. I uh, David's doing really good. Good job, buddy. Um. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> uh, what I plan to do is the what I feel is worth going for is the top uh, one one k for for rare, top five hundred epic, and top one hundred for legendary. Just because going any higher is going to take a lot more. Um, Items, time, flags, getting to, I'm ninth actually in Epic right now, but that's going to change. Um, getting to that though, uh, took me about, um, I'm going to say 60 to 70 axes, bombs, medium mana. Um, not quite as much medium mana, but it, it was actually pretty pretty decent. I didn't really, I, yeah, I didn't really rerun anything. Um, so I, I think I reran one, but, um, yeah, it, it just went straight through it using the flags that I had and then, um, don't waste items. Use, use the, it's much easier to come get flags than it is to, uh, use items and and then have to craft them like it costs a lot more so um i didn't actually buy any flags i used the what i had stored up in flasks so um i still have like nine more i didn't have too many stored up i went through about um 15 flasks something like 15 20 flasks it did not take that much actually i got some pretty decent boards um, some of my scores see like six, um, I guess clicking on it didn't help. Uh, six was pretty low. I didn't, I could redo a lot of these and get higher, but, um, it is what it is. Uh, 11 was pretty low. 12 was pretty low. Yeah, I could redo a bunch of these, but... I am content with 500s, top 500s, so we'll leave it as is. Uh, I took the same team throughout the whole thing, used the same items throughout the whole thing. This is the team I used. Uh, those are the items I used. I will show you the... Actually, I took more video of these beginning ones because 1 through 8 are the easiest ones <laughs> to do. Uh, your main goal is to look for a big combo in your, in, since I brought red, a big combo in red, your first move, so, um, say, five plus, six plus combo in red and actually do some damage. One through three, or even one through four, you don't have to do a ton of damage, but as you get five through eight, you really got to clear that first level. Um, the you'll notice on some of them, I mana up Wilbur before I f I make the move. That is a riskier thing, but a riskier weight strategy. But it has great reward. So you don't know what your combos are going to be or how your tiles are going to to end up if you're going to get a if your diamond is gonna still stay there, or if how many, how much damage you're gonna do on the minions, um, but 
you can see on some of them I take that risk and it gives me a better score each time. And you can also see on some of them where I don't take that risk when if I did it would have been a lot higher. So if you're going for like say top 10 in Epic it's best to like you pretty much have to take that risk in every single one not just not just what I did here. But that also means you're wasting a lot of minor mana. You're also, uh, <laughs> because you're using it be and you don't know if you're going to be keeping it or not. So I did go through quite a bit of minor mana. I didn't keep track, but um, did go through quite a bit. You will also see <laughs> a lot of mistakes. I got rushed, especially on this last one. I was so upset with it because I messed up on the second wave. So you'll see it, but um, that was like a once in a lifetime dream board that I messed up. So <laughs> events can be frustrating. You can fat finger, you can, you can just in the heat of the moment, you're trying to go fast and, and think, and then uh, like a chest will... <laughs> pop up or your diamond will pop and you're like, oh no, what do I do now? So, um, yeah, <laughs> my thing is I try to go too fast and then I make a mistake or I fat finger or something, um, like, like what Dater would do in war. So yeah, it, it gets frustrating, but, but, uh, as you can see, my score on the last one was not terrible, but it could have been so much higher if I would have played it better. Um, last, last levels are a little bit more complicated. You need a lot more tiles. Um, I did mana up Wilbur a lot more because you need that initial damage, especially in the last three. The last three are a lot harder to kill the bosses. So, usually a diamond at the end just won't cut it. You have to have your items also. And in order to have your items at the end, you got to be able to kill the minions in the, the first two waves with with a tile. So, you really need some good boards for those last ones. Um, you'll see... I got some average scores there. They're not, they're not extravagant. They're a lot harder to do. And... Um, if you're looking for top 10, the more chests, the better. I think, uh, I was, I talked with Uriel before he retired and it seemed like he needed a chest in every single one. So, um, yeah, I don't do Epic too often. So, and I don't usually push for top 10, but, uh, yeah, I would assume that that number one spot, you're needing a chest in pretty much every single one to make it awesome. And not just a chest in every single one, it has to be a good board in a chest, which is a lot harder to find. It takes a lot more resources, um, flag-wise, that I just don't think it's worth um, the reward that it is. Um, obviously, number one would be worth it because you're getting gazelle, but... If you're looking at top 10, you get two additional maps. Um, yeah, and what you have to spend in flags to get to it, not worth it in my opinion. But anyway, I'll stop rambling on. I went ahead and put some of my better hits and some of my mess ups on here as well. So feel free to to comment in the the section below. Hopefully um, you take something from it and it helps you out. Thanks guys.